Good morning everybody and welcome to the next edition of Star Mountain Outdoors and Bushcraft. I'm John and this is Nathan. Hello. And today we are hiking up to Johnson Lake from Panchuela Campground. So come on and join us. Cave Creek Trail starts at the Panchuela Trailhead. To get to the Panchuela Trailhead, you need to go north from Pecos on New Mexico Highway 63, following the Pecos River, past the Torero Store, and into Cowles. From Cowles, you'll take a left across the bridge, and then take the first right to the Panchuela Trailhead. It's at the end of the road. From the parking area, you'll need to hike through the campground to the kiosk where there's a bridge over the creek. That's where the Cave Creek Trail starts. Take the Cave Creek Trail northwest. You'll pass two trail intersections. The first will be the horse alternate, and the next will be the Dockweiler Trail. The trail seems to get closer to the creek further up the mountain. After about two miles, the trail will turn west and cross Panchuela Creek near the intersection with Cave Creek, and it'll head west for a while. The trail begins to climb steeper up the hill and be on the lookout for side trails to the left to the caves. Past the caves, the trail starts climbing a lot steeper, and it'll head up to the intersection with the Skyline Trail. From there, the trail turns left, heading south, and flattening out a bit after a couple of switchbacks. Soon you'll reach the Lake Johnson Trail, where you take a right and just follow it up the hill. It's a long 1.8 miles to the lake from there. There is a fairly diverse forest for this area, starting from the Panchuela campground. We've got, you know, aspen and white fir trees, ponderosa pine, oaks, probably some Douglas fir in here too. That's a beautiful forest. I'll just kind of swing around and let you take a little bit of a look. It's really nice. We've got some box elder in here too. Plenty of water along the route so far. This is a little side stream that crosses the trail. All right, folks, we are taking a left here at and continuing to follow the Cave Creek Trail. And in fact, there's Nathan. Panchuela Creek between the campground and uh, the junction with Cave Creek is just beautiful. Look at this. And the morning light is just adding to the effect. Really beautiful. We're 
at the junction where Panchuela Creek intersects or merges with uh, Cave Creek. And there's a crossing right here and then the trail goes up the hill from here. Okay, we're following Cave Creek up the mountain now. And if memory serves me right, this is the pool where my son Nathan there, right there, caught his first fish, his first trout. Good sized southwestern white pine up the hill from us. I've seen a couple of these signs here now. Obviously they don't want us to camp here because it's about a hundred feet to the creek and you're kind of straddling halfway between the creek and the trail there. I can see why they don't want people to camp here. All right, you ever hear the saying, leaves of three, let it be? This is what they're talking about. This stuff right here, poison ivy. I've got a little song to go along with that. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. If you see leaves of three, let it be. Gosh, I'm sorry, John Lennon. This is Cave Creek. It's a beautiful stream. I don't know if you can see all those white flowers up there, but uh, this is the reason why they call it Cave Creek as I pan slowly over. The creek actually disappears into that cave and then comes out about 50 yards down the mountain. Pretty cool stuff. I like the mossy exterior and the ferns up there this is just a beautiful little nature spot here nice little plot place to stop and have a little snack break on the way up the hill here's nathan in front of the cave just to give you an idea of how big it is Okay, that was just the first little of a series of caves, apparently. Because here's a couple more. You can see that the creek flows into that one, too. And then if you look to the right, we've got more caves. Lots and lots of caves. Take a closer look. Okay, this cave is pretty large. And the stream does go into it there, too. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, here's Nathan walking out in front of the cave so you can get an idea of the scale of it. It's actually pretty good size. We're not going to get our feet wet right now. We could put on our sandals and go into the cave and stuff, but maybe on the way back. But it's pretty cool. All right, let's continue on our hike. Black-Eyed Susan. I think I may have found a hazelnut bush because the leaves are fuzzy. That's awesome. Don't see many of those around here. I believe the scientific name is Corallus cornuta. the caves now and we're crossing another little stream 
Looks like a pretty good place to get water. Pretty cool. All right, finally, after a rather long, steep climb, rocky trail, we've made it to the junction of the Skyline Trail. Woohoo! We're happy about that. So, only about three miles left, and we're gonna cross Cave Creek right there and head up the hill. Here is an awesome bridge built with rock and mortar on the sides and filled in with dirt and there's probably a culvert pipe in there or something. That's awesome. This might be an old wagon road or something. And here's another dirt filled bridge crossing here on this little tiny creek. Awesome, I wonder how old these are. Yay. We made it to the Skyline Trail, Johnson Lake Trail Junction. So we have 1.8 miles left, but that's probably about a thousand foot elevation climb too. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, after passing by a meadow off to our left, we're steadily climbing uphill now and we're just crossing a little stream here that could potentially be a water source for you. Okay, we've made it to our destination here, and it's a pretty lake. We're going to follow this trail down, and then head up the hill to our camp spot. Alright everybody, it's uh, another day in the books. It's starting to get late, it's starting to get dark, so uh, we're going to call it a night, and... Uh, See you guys in the morning. Have a good sleep. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day two of our trip to Lake Johnson. And today the plan is to just relax, fish, take pictures, and enjoy our time up here. So that's what I plan to do. Come on and join me. Outdoors and Bushcraft. I'm your host, Nathan, and I wanted to give you a tour of our camp. So first, here, we have the kitchen, a couple of pots and things like that. And over here, we have our campfire that we can't use. Then, over here is the deluxe sleeping quarters of my father the hammock. Then over here, we have the tent where I sleep. Thank you for coming. Look at this little waterfall with the trout spawning there. That's so funny. That's why they're not biting in the lake today. They have other things on their mind. There's some big ones right here.
They're just going up the stream two by two. This is so cool to see. We could probably reach in there and catch them by hand, but I'd, I'd feel bad doing that while they're spawning like this. Discussing that this has been the funnest part of our trip so far is to just watch the fish in the creek. fish were swimming up. Not very far, but it's still pretty cool. Alright. For today's dinner, we are trying these Omeo Omeo pizza. Pepperoni pizzas. Let's see how these taste. They're interesting because they have they come with their own heating system. <laughs> I don't think it really got quite hot enough. I see the cheese isn't melted. And let's give her a taste test. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's pretty good for being out in the wild. Good? Yeah, I wouldn't eat this at home, but out here it works. It might be because of the high altitude here too, we're at over 11,000 feet. That makes a difference on chemical reactions and that sort of thing. So it comes with two servings per package. Anyway, that's about it. everything up, um, picked up every little scrap, even stuff that wasn't ours. Um, actually the camp was pretty clean. Whoever camped here before did a good job of cleaning up. 
Um, there were just a couple of tea bags in the fire pit, and that's it. So now we're off back down to trailhead. Um, we're going to be going to a different trailhead to hike out to, um, to complete a loop trail. We've decided to take the Windsor Trail down, even though I've already hiked it this year. Um, Nathan's never seen it, so I want to show that to him. And uh, he can wait uh, by the road crossing up to Penchuela while I hike up another mile and a half to get the car and bring it back down to him without the packs. So for me, it'll be about a 10 mile hike. For Nathan, it'll be 8.3. Actually, it'll be about 9.7, I think, for me, something like that. We'll see you on the trail, and uh, we've had a good trip so far. Okay, we know we're approaching the end of the Johnson Lake Trail because there's a meadow. I don't know if you can see it through the trees there, but it's quite a large meadow. About a hundred feet from the trail and we are back down to the Skyline Trail and here we're going to go right towards the Windsor Ridge Trail. All right we quickly got to a stream crossing. This is probably the outlet stream from Johnson Lake and I see some trout in there. Nice! Okay we're not far from that first stream crossing and there's another stream crossing. Ah, I see there's a hiker alternate here. That's the one we'll take. Nice flowers there. Okay, here's the junction with the Windsor Ridge Trail. And this is the way we'll be heading back. It goes uphill for a little while and then it's just a gradual nice downhill the rest of the way. But it might be kind of hot. It's on the sunny side of the mountain. Alright, now we're back on the Windsor Trail. Sorry about the shaky camera there. And uh, I just, I always find myself coming back to this trail. It's so beautiful. Look at the big park-like forest through here. Big old Douglas fir trees. Aspen. It's just gorgeous. And let's continue. Check it out, there's some kind of rust or disease on this aspen tree here. I just had to show you this is so pretty with the paint brushes through here as Nathan hikes through. Pretty awesome wildflower display. But, unfortunately, the aspen trees have been totally denuded of their leaves from the tent caterpillars. That's pretty sad to see. Usually the views are awesome through here, but today it's very smoky. We've been noticing how dry it was. Our mouth gets dry every five minutes it seems like. And now it looks like there's a fire. There's a horny toad. This aspen stand is really pretty, one of my favorites because of the bracken ferns growing underneath. We don't get that here in New Mexico very often. Outstanding. So all in all, it was a good trip. We were a little disappointed that we didn't catch any fish. Um, our timing was just poor due to the spawn, but uh, it was enjoyable to watch all the, cre all the fish spawning in such a small creek. Um, that was probably the best part of the trip. 
Um, the wildflowers were beautiful and uh, the trail was beautiful. I highly recommend this hike. Um, so until next time, we'll see you on Star Mountain Outdoors and Bushcraft. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. Trip information. Distance, 7.5 miles one way. Difficulty was strenuous, 3,000 foot in elevation gain. Time required overnight to three days. Features, scenic fishing, wildlife viewing, and caving. Early June to early October. Usage heavy to moderate, usage drops closer to the lake. Additional notes, diverse forest and plant life along the Cave Creek Trail. Check with the Pecos Ranger District of the Santa Fe National Forest for current information and regulations on trail conditions and fire conditions. Thank you.